Welcome back to Red and Blue. I'm Major Garrett. Maryland Republican Governor Larry Hogan is set to give a speech tonight. Now, governors give lots of speeches. That's not news. But this speech could be part of something important because of increased speculation that Hogan might launch a 2024 presidential bid. In this speech, Hogan has promised to lay out what he regards as the future of the Republican Party. And he told CBS News earlier this month that the midterm results have pushed him closer to jumping in. For more on this, CBS News Chief Election and Campaign Correspondent Robert Costa joins us now. Bob, what are we looking to hear from Hogan, and is he moving closer to doing something possibly momentous in Republican circles? Major, it seems like everybody's moving closer <laughs> right. in the Republican Party right now, and everybody in the Democratic Party is saying, we're with President Biden. Exactly. They're letting the president make his own decision. Mm -hmm. But President Trump's in. That hasn't stopped a lot of people, whether it's former Ambassador Nikki Haley mm -hmm. to tonight, Governor Hogan, starting to inch toward a decision. It's so interesting, even though we're in such a chaotic political time, the norms of decision making on the presidential level remain. You're hearing a lot of, I'm going to spend the holidays <laughs> with my family yes. over turkey and ham. <laughs> We're going to discuss whether we yes. want to spend a lot of time in Iowa mm -hmm. and New Hampshire. Right. And you're hearing this from everybody. But behind the scenes, under the water politically, there's a lot of kicking of the feet. Mm -hmm. Getting ready, and like Hogan's doing tonight, I'll be there with our team, Aaron Navarro, mm -hmm. starting to outline their potential themes for a campaign. And one of the things that Hogan has told me, he's told you, he's told lots of people. He talks to the national media. With some we, regularity, we that. is that the Republican Party has to go back to its core principles. It has to get over the thrall that Donald Trump has held it in. And he wants to return to a time of, quote unquote, normal Republicans. Is that something he can sell in a Republican primary? He, it's something that's to be determined for Hogan. Uh, the Maryland governor is someone who has won over a lot of the so-called never-Trumpers. I remember a few years ago I went to a Baltimore Orioles game, and who did I see there with Larry Hogan? Bill Kristol, mm -hmm. the high-profile never-Trumper, longtime conservative. The question is, can Hogan, if he runs, get beyond the Bill Kristol wing of the never-Trump block of the Republican Party or the independent wing of our political system? Can he win over the Reagan Republican? And so you're hearing a lot from Hogan in his recent remarks and interviews and speeches, talk of Ronald Reagan. He believes traditional Republican values on foreign policy, on the economy, still have a coalition inside the GOP. And he's not trying in any way to appeal to Trump voters per se, but he wants Trump voters to maybe return to his side. And one thing he talks about with also frequency is, I've won in a blue state. Mm. That ought to matter. That ought to matter as much, if not more, as ideological purity. And he's part of this wing of the GOP, like Charlie Baker, the outgoing Massachusetts governor, who come out of that more traditional Republican mold of being pro-business, uh, having an appeal to suburban Republicans, and not being too uh, chaotic or messy when it comes to political rhetoric. And it, it's something, though, that you wonder as a reporter, where does it fit? Mm -hmm. Because the Trump coalition, even if you don't think Trump's going to win the nomination, his voters still have a lot of say, and they want to see, if not Trump, someone like Florida Governor Ron DeSantis or maybe even Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin. And to your point, in the last 45 seconds or so we have, Bob, I think it's worth noting that within the Trump circle, there was a hope, maybe an expectation is too strong a word, that if he got in early, that would sort of freeze people out. In fact, the water appears to be warmer, not colder. He got in and he had dinner with a white supremacist. And that's the message so far from the Trump 2024 campaign. I haven't seen a Trump 2024 rally yet, have you? Nope. Uh, we've been missing that, but he's having dinner with these figures who are anti-Semites and white supremacists. For someone like Hogan, that's an opening. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Bob Costa, always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so very much.